Oh, I have my eye on the octopus. Okay, then I'm gonna go straight into the... Straight, you're gonna go straight. You're yeah. finally going little, straight. Little oh my God, that's... I'm impressed. Can you verify exactly what straight means? Fuck and if I know. No way, honey. Even when uh... you're straight, you're not straight. Did you expect to make a living from no, your art? No, of course not. I mean, no, no. I just was happy I didn't have to suck dick in an Iranian shoe store. First of all, I thought I would come to New York to do spoken word, but spoken word didn't really exist. So I started uh, Teenage Jesus and the Jerks. really make the most hideous yet precise din I possibly could as a tantrum against all of music and all of society. There were a lot of freakish never could have happened at any yeah. other time. It seems to well, me bands who, who had a ready-made audience, okay? As you did to what I said, you could basically say, I am a rock star. Well, no, hey, wait, 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 no, 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 and first of all, I never said I was a fucking star. No, but I mean, by, no. not by word, but by deed and deportment. Well, we are great, aren't we? First of all, I'm not a star. I'm not an icon. That might be in your midnight you fantasies. You walked into a club. People knew who you were. I didn't walk into any place thinking I'm a star. I walked in thinking I had shit to do. But I wouldn't say I was a catalyst. I'd say I was a cattle prod. To get people to do shows, booking shows, curating shows, it's just what I do. It's like, let's go, let's do it. And when people would ask me to do things, they'd be like, yeah, I want to do it, of course. People were beautiful doing things because they had to do it, not because of any other grand idea. So what made you happy back then? I mean, do you have any, did you have any happy was, moments? Oh, happiness was not the goal. Satisfaction was the goal, as it still is. My anger is on a global level. It's never on a personal level. I'm very happy. Right. I'm happy to have octopus with you tonight, my dear. Huh. Thank you very much for inviting me. Um, mm. Good? Perfect. Yeah. When was the last time you had something this good in your mouth? I know you eat well, but this is like... That's been a while. This is pretty incredible. Why are you here tonight? To see the dead boys. Why? Because they're great fucks. How do you know? Because I fucked them. <laughs> Who do you want to run down on? Did you throw the... Uh... Yeah, I did. That was my present. I'm lunch. They do a song called I Need Lunch. I'm Lydia Lunch. Why did you uh, throw that? What was it? What was it? They, <laughs> they were used tampons. Genuinely used new ones. Why did I give them to them? Because they're going to eat them the second set. You were featured prominently in uh, many of the best known uh, films of the era. Uh, Most of which sucked. I was trying to be a reflection of the reality at the time. This is why I made the films I made, especially with Richard Curtin. You just dropped me off. Where are you taking me anyway? My house. So we did this horribly violent film called Finger that was based on real things that had happened to me. It was not glamorous. It was not pretty. It was offensive, but I'm trying to work out my psychosexual problems, because I know I'm not alone in them, by making films and speeches that will address the situation that I know other people suffer from. Okay, this was a film very influential, far beyond the well, we imaginings didn't think that when we did at it. the time. We didn't think that when we did it. We didn't um, give a shit. We just wanted to make a film and get it out there, because we had to do something, because we were burning and our blood was on fire. <laughs> Looking back, though, was it all that? Was it a golden period? Are you I'm, nostalgic? No. Is, okay. I, let, am, let me... I am golden. It's always a golden period for me. Look, we have a golden piece of asparagus. It's golden. So do you have any sense of, no. oh, those are the good? <laughs> I fucking don't. Those were the bad old days, baby. 
You try living in peace and love, oh. beauties. You try giving hand jobs under the table to take your first band to Europe. Oh. You want to go back to that? You go back to that. How were you living? I know the same hand to mouth. So no sentimentality, no nostalgia at all. I'm doing say, too yeah. much shit all the time. I still have shit to do. Why am I boohooing when I've just been on tour from October to the next October? I'm not stopping. Youth? Would you, would you want to go through that again, or is it Youth? not overrated? Don't I look good for my age? Oh no, yeah. Well then, what do you want from me? Was it worth The older it? I get, the better I taste. Everybody... What can I say? It's like wine, baby. Did something special happen then, or or am I just? Is my whole all... life is special because I'm still alive, doing what I want to fucking do with who I want to do it with. To me, I'm not living in the past because I'm living in the in the present. It's in New York. Get used to it. It has never changed. It had a golden moment here. Probably had a golden moment in the '40s too. I'm not sure. I wasn't here. Maybe the '60s. We weren't here. So it was all bullshit. No, none of it was bullshit. It happens when it happens, and things change, and time is not what it once was, and it isn't anywhere. If you've done one thing, you're living in the past, and that's your glory day, that's your glory day. This is my glory day. I'm here talking to you eating octopus. I got my boots on his knees. And I'm like it. And if only his dick was big enough, he'd be fucking me now, but we're gonna go have a cigarette.